Hi, Anne from Imagine If here, and this is a companion video to go with our November Take and Make Kits for Teens and Tweens. Starting on the first Monday in November, November 2nd, we're giving out toothbrush robot kits at all our locations. So if you're a teen or tween or have a teen or tween at home, come into any Imagine If library and we'll give you everything you need to make your own version of this little guy while our supplies last. The Take and Make Kits will change out each month on the first Monday of the month. I hope this video gives you some ideas of how to go about making your own toothbrush robot. The vibration of the electric toothbrush will make this thing go. First, get that toothbrush motor in there. Open up the package and put the battery in place, making sure to line up the nearly invisible arrows and test that it works. Then bend the toothbrush out of the way and smoosh it down into the noodle. It is way easier to do this before you decorate it. You are ready to go at this point. However, if you have tools and want to experiment a little, you could also cut the toothbrush open with a saw, tin snips, or a PVC pipe cutter like I used, and just use the motor part. This makes it easier to fit inside the noodle, and it twirls around great on the toothbrush base. It's kind of fun to see how these things work anyway. If you try this, use duct tape to hold the motor parts together, as the spring will tend to make it pull apart slowly. And again, test to make sure it works. Okay, once you have your motor in the noodle, decorate it to your heart's content. The swimming noodle is so easy to push wire or toothpicks into to decorate and give your robot personality. If you need shorter wires than what is included, you can use scissors, wire cutters, or just bend them repeatedly. They make nice attachments for buttons or googly eyes. Make it like a Mr. Potato Head and change it up. If you have rubber bands or a hair tie and markers, you can make it a doodle bot. Try using three markers instead of four and see what happens. If you have spaghetti noodles, make a bristle bot. Or is that a noodle noodle bot? Experiment with angular momentum. Twirl like an ice skater. Name your bot, take a photo of your bot, show us your bot. Then, remember to come back on the first Monday of the month for a different take and make kit. Pick it up curbside or inside. We hope to see you at the library soon.